Hello everybody, this is Crystal. Um, long time no see. Uh, been, I've been in a bit of a funk and everything, but I'm getting over that now and I'm going to get back in the swing of things and go after my dreams and you know all of that good stuff. So I'm back. <laughs> anyway, this story right here is about Matilda's prolapse. As you all know, Matilda is my bearded dragon and it's like nine o'clock here at night. So a little bit, it's almost time for her to go up. Yeah, this is my girl. Anyway, she started having some issues in June of this year. She had a prolapse. And that's basically where their insides start coming out through their vent. Basically, her issue was that she was, she started laying a lot of eggs in June. So it was like every other day, every other day, I would wake up to eggs. So she kept laying these eggs. And so I guess just the pressure of laying the eggs caused there to be a prolapse, like in very late July, I think it was July 30th or something like that. So basically, I'm going to insert some pictures either on this screen or in the description area below. But basically, the prolapse is when their insides come out through the vent. See, this is their vent area. And basically, the prolapse is when the tissues come out through here. And basically, it was like a pink lump protruding out of here. And so that was basically, I basically about had a heart attack when I saw this. And I took her to urgent care, which is her vet, but I had to pay an urgent care fee because it was like a Saturday when this happened. So um, I would have consented for her to have surgery right then, but since it was Saturday and they were closing early, there would be nobody there to monitor her from the surgery. And reptiles, it takes them a while to wake up and for the anesthesia to wear off. So um the vet didn't want to do the surgery right then and right there that saturday so she said that maybe like sugar or honey soaks would cause it to go back in so basically i took matilda home and with some lubricating jelly that the vet gave me and some pain medicine i think it was called meloxicam was the pain medicine and so i would put the lubricating jelly on the vent area and i would also put sugar around the area like plain white sugar around the area to hopefully sh cause the tissue to shrink and to retract back into the vent. I would also give her several sugar soaks a day, which is basically soaks in warm water with a lot of sugar dissolved in it. I would do this a couple times a day, and I would also do the lubricating jelly with the sugar on it several times a day. And I also started doing Manuka honey soaks, and basically nothing was working. It wasn't going back in. So I had to go forward and have the surgery. Of course, I was very scared, very nervous about my girl because she's my buddy. But um, either way, on August 3rd, she had surgery. And which is basically they, they give her the anesthesia, they shove the prolapsed tissue back in there, they stitch her up and everything like that. So she had surgery on August the 3rd at Midway Veterinary Hospital in Chesapeake, Virginia. And Dr. Miller, she did the surgery and everything went on well. Everything went off without a problem and everything like that. She went home with antibiotics, pain meds, all that good stuff. So a week or two later, she had to have her stitches removed. Um, but this time she wasn't under anesthesia. She was squirming so much that the doctor had to just leave some of the stitches in there and they would fall out over time. So Dr. Moore, he was the doctor who did the follow-up and took the stitches out. Dr. Miller, she was the one who actually did this procedure. They're both excellent doctors at Midway Veterinary Hospital in Chesapeake. So if you have any issues and you're in the Hampton Roads area with, and you uh, have some exotic pets, I would highly recommend Midway Veterinary Hospital. Friendship Hospital is great too. Um, they do have one vet that takes care of exotics at Friendship Vet, but she's not always there, which is why she wasn't able to help me with this issue with Matilda at the time. So, um, since then, Matilda has been doing well since her surgery. Uh, since the surgery, she's laid probably maybe about one or two more eggs, and then it just kind of tapered off. So, hopefully she's done laying eggs for a while. Maybe she'll never lay eggs again. I don't know. Maybe it'll be an every year type of thing with Matilda. I'm not really sure how that works. She's three years old, and this was the first time that she had had, you know, she had had eggs. So, that's pretty much about it. Um... I'm going to show you her again. This is my baby girl. She's still quite active, even though it's kind of late at night for her. 
I know. I love her so much. I was really, really, really worried about the surgery. But if you have any questions, please ask. Um, I will add some, put some information in the description box below about the sugar soaks and the honey soaks and all that. So maybe if your dragon has an issue with prolapse, you can do the sugar or the honey soaks and hopefully the tissue will go back in so that you can easily just slide it back in there and they won't need surgery. So um, so if your pet is having issues with prolapse, prolapses, I will put the information in the description box below about the sugar and the honey soaks. Um, also, male dragons could have prolapses too. They, with their um, genital area, there can be a prolapse or there could also be a prolapse with their intestines coming out through that area, the vent area. So it's just not female dragons. Um, so if you have a lizard or a bearded dragon, a prolapse is something you need to be concerned with anyway, especially when they've been straining a lot, whether it's due to a bowel movement or some kind of intestinal parasites causing them to poop more often or in Matilda's case, laying a lot of eggs. So just keep an eye on your dragon. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good day. Bye.